Welcome to Praying Through the Bible, number 32, Exodus 17, verses 8 through 16, a prayer that is acted out. Every day, Israel needs God for provisions, and now for protection. The Amalekites will be their first war, Exodus 17, verse 8. On the timeline of their journey, this is probably within a few months from when they left Egypt. God took them on a longer route because he said the people will change their minds and return to Egypt if they face war, chapter 13, verse 17. And when they left, they left in battle formation, chapter 13, verse 18. Pretending to be an army is different than the real thing. Once again, God saves in a way unconventional. Unconventional is God's conventional way. Moses says to Joshua, select some men for us and go fight against Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the hilltop with God's staff in my hand, chapter 17, verse 9. The battle is won on a hilltop, and ours is won on a hill far away. One battle is won by God using a wooden staff. The ultimate battle God wins by using a wooden cross. Picture Moses holding his staff. Is the staff vertical, pointing straight to heaven. Since the word banner, chapter 17, verse 15, is related to a flag, it could be so. If so, then the staff is the flagpole and the flag is God, chapter 17, verses 15 through 16. Jesus, as the root of David, will stand as our banner, Isaiah 11, verse 10. Is the staff horizontal? Would he hold it like this? Aaron would support and her would support Moses' hands, one on each side, chapter 17, verse 12. This position would form a cross. Moses' body would be the upright stipes with the staff and patibulum in the shape of a T. Interesting how we keep seeing the same stories being told. Then something inexplicable happens. Chapter 17, verse 11, while Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed, but when he put his hand down, Amalek prevailed. Why would God do this? I don't know, but it proves they went because of God. Here are some other lessons. Holding up a staff will become wearisome. Hold up your arms just for a little while and notice how quickly you tire. God expects us to get tired and yet to keep going. Three. When tired, Moses' friends get a rock for him to sit on, chapter 17, verse 12. People are relying on Moses. Four, Aaron and Hur support his hands until the sun went down. To hold up somebody's hands, that's a saying still used today, means to support somebody. After the battle is won, Moses builds an altar. This is the first altar mentioned being built to Yahweh since Jacob, Genesis 35, verse 7. That's over 430 years, Exodus 12, verse 40. Moses names it, Yahweh is my banner, chapter 17, verse 16, which sounds like a prayer. Moses considered his hilltop action as his hand lifting up toward the Lord's throne, chapter 17, verse 16. Again, I see the cross. And when we lift up our hands to heaven, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, what are we doing? praying. On this hilltop, in Moses' acted out prayer, we learn several valuable lessons. One, Israel defeats their enemy only when God defeats their enemy. Two, oh, let me finish. All victories are victories of grace. Before this battle, do you remember Israel tested God asking, is Yahweh among us or not? Chapter 17, verse 7. The answer is yes. Two, prayers and acting out our prayers can become wearisome, but we are not to give up or to give in. Three, people count on us, as is God's plan. Four, we are not alone and must rely upon our friends to hold up our hands. Don't think faith means doing nothing. Six, even today, God uses physical signs such as the Lord's Supper and baptism. We can ask why but we must obey because we need God for both provision and protection every day. Here's our prayer challenge. Negatively, let us not grow weary. 
positively. Let us enlist the help of others in our prayers. And after and even while praying, get busy acting out our prayers. There is a time to wait on God, and there's a time to act out our prayers. Maybe God does not say yes more often because we give up too easily and don't get busy obeying. Live out our prayers. Live the cross. Start praying. This has been Praying Through the Bible, number 32, Exodus 17, 8 through 16, a prayer of action, a prayer that is acted out. If this has been a blessing to you, please share and feel free to make any comments below. Thank you.